This is your soccer zombie, Tom Franklin, here in City Park, down in the heart of the Zaborn section, and this is the barbecue, St. Louis versus Kansas City. Let's freaking go! But obviously, things change. As you can see behind me, we are vibing. This guy here is vibing. They have taken off their shirts. This game is absolute vibes right now. So if you want, what's up, buddy? Yes, let's go! Let's go! As I said, this video is pure vibes. If you want journalistic integrity, then I usually provide my videos. I'm taking a break from that. If you want fun in an MLS supporter section, keep watching. You will get there, I promise. It is shirts off. It is soccer zombie after night. And we are winning against Sporting Kansas. It is now 2.20 in the afternoon. St. Louis City versus Sporting Kansas City kicks off in St. Louis at 7.30 or thereabouts. And we have basically five hours to make what usually is about a three hour and 45 minute drive. We are currently stuck in the parking lot at the KC Current game. Hopefully not for too much longer. Traffic is moving, but it is moving kind of slow. This is part of the Missouri doubleheader. I'm trying to prove that uh, this can actually be a thing. And uh, based on this traffic so far, I'm starting to get concerned. But regardless, uh, if you want to check out the KC Current video, it is up on the corner right there. That is the first half of the doubleheader. The second half is the big one. It is the El Tragico. It is the Derby Q. It is the Capital Classico. It is whatever you want to call it to be. I don't think we've really settled up on a name yet. All right, but just a little bit of a background here. This is the third and final match between these two clubs this season and the only one that's going to be in STL this season. Now, despite this rivalry only being in existence for two seasons, this is the eighth match between St. Louis and KC. And as you can see, it's been a pretty closely contested rivalry. SKC does have the edge at three wins, two draws, and two losses. In their two matches this season, though, it was a pair of draws at Children's Mercy Park in KC. Now, I've covered both of these games on my YouTube channel this season. The first one in April, you can find right up there. Uh, Tomas Totland of St. Louis scored a stoppage time game tying goal to send St. Louis fans home a little easier with a 3-3 draw. Exciting game even if you were a neutral so if you like goals check that video out. Uh, the other one was my away day review of Children's Mercy Park and yes I was objective about my rival stadium. I actually rated it fairly highly. How highly? Well you can check it out up there for yourself. All right we have just uh, driven this rough and rugged Scion uh, out of a mini divot in the road. We are making a little bit of progress here as we pass by CPKC Stadium here. Uh, we'll, this is going to be a close one, I think. You'd be surprised. Hello, world of Missouri, my old friend. I've come to drive in you again. I-64, I-170 interchange. Why are you the way you are? A few moments later. Made it with an hour to spare. Boom. 500 miles, two games, one day, one state. It happened. The Missouri doubleheader is complete. And now we party. No, seriously, the rest of this video is just pure vibes. There's no journalism in this, like, at all. Worth the four-hour drive. Every time. Look at that legend right there. 
turn the soccer zone oh, over oh, and give our Tastes like bougie. Yeah, we're home. All right, Mason. This is the day of days. The one crack we get at Sporting Kansas. The guys that tried to put you out of business, man. How you feeling? This is the last game that matters for this whole season. And I want to see them put into the fucking ground. I'll be completely honest. Honestly, the, the feeling is mutual. I enjoyed my time at KC Current today. This is not a KC Current battle. Yeah, I, say, I have nothing in KC, KC Current. KC Current didn't sue you, so yeah. there you go. Yeah, KC Current never went after a podcast, as far as I know. And I think they would have a little bit more class than that. Yeah. Trust me. Trust me. But we are in the we are in the shit tonight. We are way lower than we usually are. So uh, yeah. Honestly, if you don't hear from us tonight, it's because we're either celebrating, drunk, drowned out. Or a combination of all yeah, three. Yeah, I was going to say it's probably all three. Watch out! Oh! I have questions. Many, many questions. at any point in this video this is for a game that involves the third worst team in the western conference against the second worst team in the western conference does that freaking matter not to these guys by the way it is the 18th minute of this game sporting kc is already time wasting they did not start their a lineup today because they played 120 minutes on wednesday they are already in the dark arts didn't get the memo.
is terrified. Hello. It is confirmed. Welcome, by the way, you, you're, um, it's officially confirmed. Cedric Toy Shirt is a menace. He clearly is, and also I'm not allowed to watch this team play anymore. Go because they scored while I was in the bathroom. Get out, the exit's over there. Oh, here we go, here we go. He's free, he's free, he's free. Cedric, no! Good effort. Good half. Good half. Only needed one shot on target. We took it. We have had a long day. Yeah. Eight hours to and from KC, four hours each way. And now we party, man. How you feeling? Oh, man. Vibes are awesome. We are winning at halftime, which is great this year. And, I mean, what better place to be than City Park right now? If we retired before this game, this section has woken us up big time. Yes. We're in, we are in the thick of it today. Yes. But we are going to sleep great tonight. Oh, gosh. The best sleep ever. Like, I am a light sleeper. No, I will be dead tonight. Like, nothing will wake me. I didn't get one in KC, but I got one here. A few moments later. By God, it is Kane. He was in Portland. Oh my God, no! No, it's a messy. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Hey, best player in the league, am I right? I feel like I've been stabbed in the heart. I unfriend you. What was your thinking? Yeah, exactly. What is he thinking, man? I don't know. My mind's clouded. It's all messy up here. Oh, as well. What do you think so far, man? Center Toy Shirt's a beast. Oh, I'm loving it. That goal. Oh, I I had no words. It was supposed to be Marcel Hartle that was the superstar, and he's been very good. But Toy Shirt's just bagging him. Toy Shirt, he's he's just having fun out there. He's yeah. having fun. Yeah. He's, and we're having fun watching him. It's his playground out there, that's what it is. Well, Kane, I appreciate you, not just for you know modeling the uh, wonderful soccer zombie garb, but being our uh, remote reporter whenever we need you on our watch along, yeah, man. And now I'm here, I'm back from the, back from the mess that is away stadium Wi-Fi. All right, Chad with Kane uh, made me late to come back also had to get a cerveza, so we're going back down there. All right, it's the second half. I don't know how much more footage you're gonna get for me because I'm half in the bag right now and I got another one on the way. This is the Vibes episode in case you you know haven't noticed so far. Uh, speaking of Vibes, hi Mason. Hello. So I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of this game. If you get more footage from me, great. If not, I'll talk to you afterwards. Avita Zane. We're done when I say we're done. Cedric Toy Shirt with the assist because all he does is contribute goals. This is the catharsis we've been waiting for the whole season. Rasmus Ulm, my beloved. Work it all out. Twist so good. Twist so fine. Shit, shit, shit. Almost a brilliant save. 
Oh well, we'll let them have one, it's fine. Because Colorado needed the win to keep St. Louis's very remote playoff hopes alive. It's over. Do we care? No, we do not care. Because we are beating our rivals across the state. This game is the catharsis we have needed so far. This Minnesota game does not matter. This is the Flint Michigan Magable of our season. We have waited all season long for a result like this. We waited all season long for Sporting Kansas City to come into our turf and they finally did it and St. Louis got the job done. That's all that matters at this point. End the season. It's done. It's over. I'm satisfied. Come on! Come on! Come on. Shoot it! for us. Okay, so I recorded a nice outro here at this point, by the way. Hi, it's Editor Tom for the Future, by the way. And um, somehow, I knocked the gain on my microphone all the way as high as it can go. So that's why the audio was really bad at the end there. I do apologize for that. But the guy you're seeing on camera right here, Brad Whiteside, look, man, he uh, drove me to KC and drove me back. Um, yes, I hooked him up a little bit, but Brad, thank you so much for uh, the ride today, being a good friend. This was a great day. I mean, it was two games that were really fun, including the end cap when my hometown team beat the rival. I mean, what can I say? Yes, I got a little tipsy. Yes, I got a little wild. No, there's no journalistic uh, integrity in this video whatsoever once we actually get to City Park, but sometimes you just gotta let your hair down, right? Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, become a member of my supporters section if you want to help me get to more games like this and have more adventures like this in the future. It's just 99 cents a month. And in the meantime, if you missed the first video, the KC Current video, it is on your screen right now. Give it a go. I promise you the audio in that video is much better. Flint Michigan Vagabond!